All right, take 37. Right, day 12 of preparations here. That's not true, it's day 5 billion. Uh, right, we're talking about principles of complex systems. Uh, this is season 15, and it's volume one because we have another version of Pux, which is called Complex Network still, but Pux goes for, for two semesters, really. Okay. Uh, throughout the semester, I'm going to be providing a few new videos like this. I'll be sort of mixing in with old clips um, and pot potentially lectures uh, from past versions of Pux. And um, I'm excited to be back. I know you are too. It's a complicated time. We'll talk about that as we go through. Um, and we're going to do our very best. Interestingly, it tries to switch to... Screen flow, I don't know why. All right, so there's a production crew here. Um, I'll just put them up for you. And very important character um, is our friend Pratchett the Cat. So it will just appear. He's an excellent mackerel tabby, and I highly recommend such uh, organisms adopted from the local shelter here. I think they gave him up, someone gave him up because he was um, very bad to other cats. But he's a lovely person to us. All right. Oh, and yeah, very important. You uh, need to, That's his Instagram account here. Um, he, he has a small but devoted following. Uh, this, is, this is him trying to eat some garlic, uh, which is not great for cats, but uh, hilarious for photographs. All right. <coughs> Spork is engaged. All right, so this is an overview. Uh, I'm going to just give you a smattering of, of um, a piece of information. We're going to talk about the website a little bit. Some developments, there's always developments in Pox. I'm always making new things. Um, first of all, I'm going to be hiding down in a small box here. So this is me, and I'll be looking up at the uh, slides from down, down this way. So I'll talk about how the slides are structured as we go along. But it's nice to be in a box. Happy to be in a box. All right, so tarot cards, we'll mention them occasionally. You don't have to worry about them too much, but they are just floating around. But this is the beginning, right? The sun. That's our first reading Okay, so this is an educational uh, platform that we've built um, under the, what we call the Vermont Complex System Center. Uh, we have a website for that, so you can go and explore that. But th these are really important words, and this is, this is our, our structure here, right? So describe and explain. To me, this is basic science. <coughs> I will come back to that. <coughs> I do apologize. Um, I'll come back to that, but describe and explain. And describe... Sometimes doesn't get the uh, merit it should, but uh, it's a, it's if you want to advance sciences, you have to measure things well. So we'll, you know, not just well, but but you know, incredibly well. So we will come back to what that is. Explain. Uh, we'll do plenty of that in this course. Uh, we want to understand why things become things, and then you get to do the fun things, right? Create and share. This is all fun too. But this is a, you, the stuff that people tend to go for straight away. Create, share, build. And we do have this ethos of play, and um, because that's you know how so much great science I think comes about, but also you know being good people. So so we're that that that's important to us. Okay, the complex system center. Uh, this is it's done well. We don't have data for its whole time in existence, but there was sort of a patch of five years where we recorded things. There's like you know 400 papers. Um, 2015, that's before you know we developed some of the pieces I'll talk about now. Lots of support. Um, I haven't included Google here, but that's a new um, line of support. We have a fantastic program there looking at uh, open source organizations, Python and so on, like how do these things function well. Um, but the kind of the, the core kinds of funding, NSF, NIH, and so on, um, we've had some really, really nice support from these places over, over, over the years. And we have Mass Mutual now. Uh, that is a, um, a big grant there, $5 million over five years. Uh, so we're excited with, uh, with, with how things have developed. Uh, lots of press. Uh, we try to kind of tweet about and kind of keep track of that. Uh, it's not why we do this, of course, but if we get press, we get press. Can't control these things. We'll talk about that later on in the course, about you know, how, that, how that all works, because we eventually do get the stories. Uh, we've run a number of conferences over, over time, um, and 
more recently, we've done a better job of creating the sites and uh, archiving them. So these guys, um, that was surprising. Right, these guys, um, <laughs> Netsai and Alife, I know what happened. Um, huge. This was this was terrific, right? So this is uh, the the number the biggest uh, network science conference in the world. Uh, we ran it here in in Burlington. Uh, Ju um, Juniper Lovato was the the hero there, and Laurent Ebert Dufresne, um, sort of the main organizers. Really amazing. This was of course in person, uh, so you can you can go and check out that website. Uh, there were, there were some really cool things there that should work, but maybe it doesn't today. Um, let me see. Yeah, so a life for example works and uh, you can see we have some beautiful design If you've seen some of our uh, Logos, this is the same logo designer. It's a uh, Rob Baboni. He's an amazing artist old friend of mine and uh, So this was this was one done virtually and it, it worked out pretty well We're gonna continue to build cool things. All right, so back to this business uh, we have uh, an educational platform, which I'll talk about. You're part of it right now. And we have what we've been calling Canoe. That's somehow C-N-W-W. -W. Uh, it's a complex networks winter workshop in Quebec City. Magical place, magical time of the year. So it's December at the end of, uh, uh, end of the school year. So um, many of our students have been up there, but students coming from all around the world. So we're excited about how that's developing and we're getting great applications. I should say it's held in a monastery. Uh, it's, it's just a, it really, so I encourage you to go if you haven't been. We've had, uh, we've been able to hire people who are complex systems people by their training. Uh, the hiring process has worked in that way where it's been open, you know, not just in this department, in this um, area. Those are important hires, right? And we'll have to have them forever, of course. But, uh, you know, I do think going forward, there's, there's still, it's still important to keep developing this open open space of saying, okay, what's what are you know interesting, wonderful things that people are working on? Uh, lots of um, you know not, some nice accolades, NSF career awards are good things, and they kind of have blossomed within our group and uh, the P case as well, which is the sort of super special one that the president gets involved with. Uh, so that's uh, Josh Bongard got one of those, um, and he has a nice picture that he has of him standing next to Obama because he was. Of median height essentially all right so uh, we've have a few things we've done over the years to try and connect students um, we have scraps it's the uh, students complexity research and pizza seminar it's modeled after a, 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 um, a group that I built at um, MIT when I was a graduate student called um, spams the simple persons applied math seminar the most crucial two things in this um, no professors right because they're just terrible and um, food so yeah so pizza is sort of in the name there but you can you can eat different foods if you want but we understand our people we understand our people right and we want to make your lives better okay so uh, we have a paper shredder which you know comes and goes but it's it's a reading group um, where it's possible we might shred a, uh, a paper if we don't like it but that's just for humor you can find that on our website um, research jam, so that's another way of just getting it. There is, in fact, jam um, involved, but uh, the idea is to sort of jump in and, and, and try and sort of kickstart some, some research uh, and tea. So, you know, some of these things, of course, have been physical space uh, pieces, and we're adapting them to being online. Afternoon tea is, is the complexity. Talk Boctopus, uh, that is our new. Uh, version you know, we've had many kinds of uh, talk seminars over the years uh, this is a new one uh, we're running and so it's done by zoom uh, people from around the world we'll have our third one this afternoon dj patil who's the first person to ever have a a data science um uh title basically yeah right as data scientist right so uh and he worked with uh, in the obama administration as the uh what was he czar of data science anyway so good stuff all right, so that's uh, open. You have to you have to sign up, but it's an open thing. All right, so some of the, the actual humans involved, uh, we're developing this team and and um, in in kind of great ways, I think. So for so Hugh, for example, is over in, in medicine. That's this character here. I, I need to make sure I press the right 
the right buttons here because I know it's going to explode. Uh, yeah, he, he images people's brains and predicts what's going to happen, you know, which is complicated and slightly worrying. Um, but anyway, so we're, we're building this out. And we've got some great new young faculty coming in. Excited about these people. Uh, I'm just going to smash this in front of you. We're really interested in lots of, lots of things, for sure. Um, and uh, I'll try to give you the, the story that there, there, it is important to um, have a what I'll call post-disciplinary aspect to your thinking, that there are mechanisms, statistics, phenomena, um, and certainly tools and instruments that go across boundaries. And that's, that's happened more and more with the development of computational um, powers. But it's also you know, fundamentally because there are patterns that go across many systems. And so that's a, and, and there are mechanisms that give rise to them in these different systems. So that, that's something we'll really kind of highlight as we go through this, through this course. Obviously we can't study everything, but uh, you know, I wanna give you those, those, uh, those, those stories. And, uh, you know, if anything, just, just to develop into scientists who aren't provincial, you know, who aren't, it, it, it's really important to have specialists. We always need them, but we always need people to be um, aware and awake and, and open to uh, fields around them. And, and certainly many great developments have happened just because of that openness. Uh, we have this partnership, as I said, with um, uh, Microsoft. Um, Cognizant one didn't work out. Uh, see, te technology is one that's come and gone. Uh, this is what happens. But we have a we're 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 excited about where we're going with uh, with Mass Mutual. Um, the uh, logo we have for them, the mascot we have for them, is tardigrades, and I'll I'll throw them up at some point. Okay, so our teaching structure here we have built over many years, um, slowly, thoughtfully. Um, you know, structuring it out, it's, it's, it's scaffolded, I like to use that word here. And it, it started really with a certificate, which is five courses um, for graduate students, can be from across the, the uh, UVM. And um, that's going to go online soon. Then we built out to a master's, which is typically sort of 10 courses and, or maybe more, but also now you can do a thesis or a project. We've kind of reframed it a little bit, a thesis is, you know, I think many of us in many fields know this has become a bit of a dated uh, um, kind of concept. Uh, so, you know, we want papers. The, the, that's, the, that's the material that we want people to put out. And um, <coughs> as it says, you know, the, the old um, story there is caffeine in, papers out. So, and then we built a PhD. And, and so that started in 2018. Uh, we've already had a couple of uh, students graduate. I think we started with a cohort of 10, which was terrific. People, you know, we're not looking to um, poach people, but some students moved from their other disciplines in and in, into this PhD. Uh, that happened with the masters as well. And, and, you know, really, we're just trying to be responsive to the times and, and, and build um, educational platforms that will help students right that that's really what it is and it's not i mean sure indirectly helps our research programs and so on but it, that's it's not primary to that and and we're we're trying to teach the things that people need now it's not you know what i learned when i went to college many many years ago um i'll, I'll touch on that again but <coughs> yeah so um and they have their own little mascots of course because we have to do that so you can get t-shirts um, and things like that if you graduate from these programs. But we're, we're no, so we're, we're, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Um, the complex systems and data science, that framing is very important. I'll have a slide on that coming up. And uh, you can read about these programs if you're interested in one that you're not in necessarily right now, if maybe you're, you're not in any of these. And I will say that the masters, I have written here, but the masters has, um, look at that, excellent highlighting by me. The Masters has an uh, uh, accelerated Masters program associated with it, and, and some of you in this course will be part of that. Uh, it's been a big success. We're very excited uh, about how that's working. So it's sort of a four plus one structure. And you know, a good way to line that up is to do the data science undergrad. We don't run that. that that's an undergrad degree that is between computer science and math. Um, again, something that's evolving. But the core courses are 
from um, courses we've built over the years. All right, so these are the four, well, I'm listing maybe a little more, but the, the four core courses. So, so this course you're in, Parks, is, is one of the um, core courses. Actually, that's, I have to change that. It's going to be, um, we're, we're, we're at three now. Yeah, I think officially, yeah. Uh, so we've modeling complex systems. I shouldn't do that. Modeling complex systems, which um, Maggie Epstein built over many, many years, and um, Laurent Ebert Dufresne has, has taken over, that over and is building his own version there. Uh, Jim Bagro's Data Science One, which I think maybe is now official, um, is the third course. And then there's Data Science Two, so it's a, a natural sequence there. Uh, and then there's my second course, Complex Networks, which is always a little kind of influx. There's a lot of influx, there's a lot of stuff in about stories, for example, and language in there now. So we'll call it Complex Systems, uh, Principles of Complex Systems, Volumes One and Two. There are a number of other courses floating around here that are really um, important, like machine learning and um, deep learning, you know, really good foundational statistical courses, foundational mathematics courses, um, but also anything you know, associated with design or storytelling or visualization. You know, these are really important. So when, when I think of data science and the way we frame it here, it's not just any of the traditional disciplines, right? You need to have statistics and probability um, theory. You need that kind of thinking as well algorithmic thinking so that's and, and, and the skills that come out of computer science so just you know just raw coding for example but also thinking in terms of algorithms you know, much of the world is about algorithms um, some of physics and so you'll see that my course is imbued with um, work from physics and uh, stat mech is kind of the core there right so it's the micro to macro we'll come back to this like you know all these little things interacting giving rise to um, emergent behavior. It's a big, big part of thinking about systems, uh, but also design and uh, storytelling, right? So how do you, how do you, I mean, especially when we have these like enormously um, um, kind of rich complex systems, there's you know, a tremendous amount of data involved with say you know, large networks. Um, how do we compress that and try to um, <coughs> convey stories about them well? It's just really fundamental science, of course, and this is what science is. But um, you know, we, we've moved into an age where we can really confront ourselves with just an enormous amount of data, and uh, um, so we've got some work there uh, that, that contributes, and, and maybe that will come later in the, the course or the next one on, on what I would call, for example, allo taxonometry, which is the comparison of the structures of two different systems or a system at different times. You know, we're, we're having to measure really high dimensional systems and, and try to understand them. Okay, 